Hey everyone, what's going on? My name is Billy, and we're about to be participating in the Global Game Jam for 2020. It's 5.31 Central Time right now, so technically we're supposed to be getting started. The location that I was going to go to is all full, so I can't go participate in person. But we're just going to do a solo project here for this weekend. I'd like to get started now, but they're withholding the theme until 7 o'clock Central Time. i got to wait another hour and a half here, so I'll get back to you guys then. All right, see you. One hour later. All right, here we go. The theme. Global Game Jam 2020 is painting stuff, building stuff, plants, time lapses, dropping stuff, smashing stuff, using your hands, building bowls, using a machete to construct a spaceship, sewing your pants, fixing rusty stuff, destroying a castle one block at a time, building dolls, demolition, destroying churches, is he fixing a PlayStation 1? <sighs> fixing more pottery, creation and destruction, stop motion penguin videos, paper cutouts. Yelling at your children. Bad parenting. Building a watch. Repair. Oh, baby. There we go. Repair. All right. Time for me to get thinking. Six hours later. Hey, guys. What's going on? It's almost 1 a.m. Friday night. I've always kind of just wanted to make a like a dungeon crawler first person kind of slasher game. So this game is a first person kind of dungeon crawler. But as you're going through the dungeons, you are repairing stuff that has broken in the past. Shit. So here's my basic dungeon map layout. Uh, took me a little bit, but I think I got a pretty decent idea of the game that I'm trying to build. Like usual, it's taking longer to get it started than I thought. I've got the basic very bare bones mechanic in, and uh, I'll walk through that right now. I'll open up the game view. We got our uh, our hammer in there. That's the repairman's hammer. This is just the wood one, so I want there to be four tiers of the hammer. If you mouse button down, you're kind of winding back the hammer, and if you let go, he does a, a swing with the hammer. Boom. I made a character controller from scratch. You can go up ramps and gravity affects them and everything. And this is just some placeholder art, but this is the main mechanic for like repairing. So I have my, my wooden hammer. It's gonna take four swings to repair this box. So one, two, three, four. The box is repaired. So that's the basic mechanic of the game. So that's where I'm at at the end of the first day. I might, I'll probably put some more time in tonight. It's uh, almost exactly one o'clock. Side note, I made it through dry January and I got a uh, bell's too hard to celebrate. So it's a good start to February. I'll probably talk to you guys tomorrow uh, for another update to where I'm at. See ya. Day two. Yo guys, Saturday morning, just woke up. It's like nine o'clock. I'm gonna go get some breakfast, take a shower, and then get this started. Three hours later. What's up guys, 12.30 on Saturday. I've been uh, building the environment here. So far, so good. Click play real quick just to show you the basic look that I've got going. That like low poly kind of style. We got our hammer, boom. One repair, two repair, three repair. Crate is fixed. And this like the big mountainside. Got a skybox out there. We're gonna have a door here that you would fix so that you could get through it. And then you go inside and you're kind of in this little cavern. That's what I got so far. I'll update you guys later on. Peace. Two hours later. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. It's uh, two thirty on Saturday. I built most of the level, and then I just implemented the uh, the repairing mechanic. Now it's a, a template that I can just throw on any old asset in here, and it should work as long as I name the broken part broken and the fixed part fixed. Here is an example of how it works. We spawn in. We walk over. As you can see, this bridge is busted. If we hit it, repaired once, repaired twice, repaired three times, boom, bridge is fixed. Now we can cross. I got a lot of work to do, so I'll catch you guys later. Three hours later. All right, guys, 5.30, Saturday. I've implemented a uh, experience system that upgrades your hammer based on the amount of objects you repair. Here's a quick demo. So as you see at the top, you have a XP bar. It tells you the level of your hammer. It takes four swings to repair wood objects. And you see I got some experience there. Just placeholder art for now. Boom. Now you have a stone hammer. Two. Now I've unlocked the metal hammer. Now I've unlocked the gold hammer, one shot wonder, and XP at max. So the system's working, I just need to uh, do some design work and make it work while you're going through the actual dungeon itself. I'll get back to you guys later, see ya. Six and a half hours later. Midnight between uh, Saturday and Sunday, so technically it's Sunday morning now. Uh, I did some good work today. We've got the, the hammer leveling system, as well as uh, I made some more assets that uh, allow you to level up. And I also made a, a win state, so I'll run through all that. Also, I also have some sound effects and stuff in here too. We're in the game, we got our XP bar, it tells us we have a wooden hammer. I hit the rocks, 
it tells me at the bottom that my hammer is not strong enough to repair that object, to repair other objects to gain experience. So that fix a chair. So now I have a stone hammer. A little more powerful. I could start hitting this now. Um, in the final, once I start doing some design, you wouldn't be able to break that so early. You'd have to go through the level repair and craft to get uh, to upgrade your, your character's hammer. We got tables, wooden doors. I mean, I kind of made it like Skyrim style. Or once you go through the whole thing, it poops you back out at the entrance. So by this time, you should have your golden hammer. You'd break through here, and then you'd break through the gold. And now you're out of the collapse. You walk out. Congratulations, you survived the collapse. Thanks for playing Dungeon Repair. So that's where we are. End of Saturday, beginning of Sunday. Um, I'll check in back with you guys tomorrow. Um, feeling like we're in a pretty good spot. We're going to finish this game up and have it pretty polished by uh, the end of Global Game Jam 2020. Check in with you guys tomorrow. Peace. Day three. What's going on, guys? Almost 12 on uh, Sunday. So we got a little over five hours left. And uh, I have most of the game finished. I even did some uh, play testing and balancing. I also added a, uh, a new hammer. So one of the things I've been working on in the past couple hours is balancing like the leveling up. So as you can see, I've been uh, repairing some of the wooden items and I'm still not even at half XP. I have uh, different areas of the world kind of blocked off by different types of items. So there's like a stone rock kind of fall behind this door. So you can't progress through the dungeon until you have the stone hammer. So you have to go and kind of grind some uh, some repairing. All right, so I'm one object away from leveling up to the stone hammer. All right, so now I got my stone hammer. You can build wooden objects faster, so that only took two hits. Now I can repair the stone pillars. And I can go through the, the rock wall now. So throughout the level, there's a few kind of doors where you're going to need to have a more powerful hammer. So if you come back, once you level up, you can go in here and check everything out. Just kind of like a little Easter egg for people that want to put a little more time into the game. All right, so now we're coming up on the uh, the metal hammer upgrade, just in time for the metal door. All right. So now we have the metal. It only takes one shot to repair the wooden crates. We got through the metal door. Now we're getting close to the, the golden hammer. Just in time for the golden ore rock fall, that's kind of at the end of the level. So now we got a gold hammer. We can bust through here. And it'll take us back to the entrance. And we could just leave and end the game. Technically, that would be a victory. You would win. But we can either stay out here and kind of do some rock smashing, or we can go back and try to find stuff that we missed to upgrade to the diamond hammer. Alright, so we're getting close to the diamond hammer. This is the last upgrade of the game the highest level hammer in the game and now technically there aren't any more upgrades now so you would just want to leave and cue the victory state. Usually in these jams I don't have time to like balance or polish the game up but it's 12 o'clock on Sunday I'm feeling pretty good about the game. I'm gonna go back in and probably uh, tweak some visuals. All right check in with you guys later. Later. All right guys there's a little scramble at the end there and my mic stopped working for a little bit so I was kind of freaking out but now we're all set. It's a uh, 4.41 p.m. Sunday, so I got 19 minutes left. Uh, I was just filling out some of the information on the Global Game Jam page. The only diversifier I have is the no coding, because I use Playmaker for all the coding and stuff. My credits, and then the dude that made the music from uh, Open Game Art, that's how we wanted to be credited. Got all my files uploaded. Hit save, and we should be good to go on the Global Game Jam website. Yep, so here we go. We got our, our image here of our game name, and then me and Beasley. We got screenshots down here looking good then i'll flip over to my itch.io page i spent some time making this look good as well so i got my uh, my banner here i like this purple in the background we got all our screenshots and then uh download the game here same with the credits and stuff so i'll link both of these in the description below so that's it the complete process behind developing dungeon repair my global game jam submission for 2020 let me know what you guys think about the game and also let me know if you guys participated i'd definitely be down to check out some of your guys games if you made it this far, drop a like on the video, and uh, hey, maybe consider subscribing. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. My name's Billy. I need to go take a shower. I've been sitting here in my filth all day. So I'm going to go do that, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.